Hi everybody, it's Leslie Fee. I'm the founder of Embrace a Discarded Animal Society. I'm here today to do a little video and share a very funny story regarding the Doris Day auction of her personal effects that took place over the weekend. I have always been a Doris Day fan. I have watched her movies when I was a little girl. My mom used to get me out of bed to watch them at night and that was the only time I could stay up late. But, you know, I love the fact that she loved animals. Um, she was a real fighter. She overcame so many obstacles in her life. And I just really, she was my hero. And, you know, she just did so much for the animal welfare organizations and spay and neuter programs and whatnot. And I just, you know, she was just an amazing person. So I wanted to try to bid on something from her auction this weekend. Unfortunately, we're in a pandemic and we are a rescue ourselves and we have been bringing um, dogs and cats from this United States high kill shelters to Canada for over eight years now. And we have a rescue ranch in Blaine, Washington. So as the border shut and all that a few days ago or a few weeks ago, I should say, um, we have been at the rescue ranch on lockdown with over 50 animals, dogs and cats and two horses. And so, you know, money's tight. There's no adoption fees coming in. Um, a lot of people have been very generous with donations, but it is a, a lot of money and a lot of overhead to run a ranch with this many animals, just the food costs alone, as you can imagine. So I was trying to be practical with the auction of my hero over the weekend and decided you know I would only spend up to a thousand dollars or something if there was something really cool that you know was up for bid. So I saw these four little dog figurines that were on her fireplace and that was really what I had my heart set on and they did get up to about 2200 or something and I didn't bid. I just thought you know what I gotta stay practical because we have a lot of dogs and cats here to take care of and I have no idea how long this is going to last with the pandemic. And I don't know how long I will be trapped not being able to go over the border. So, you know, practicality won out. And I just enjoyed watching the auction for the two days and listening to it. Um, and the fantastic prices that things went for. You know, with all of the, everyone bidding and such. So I just enjoyed listening to it while I was caring for the dogs at the ranch. So anyway, on Monday morning, I get an invoice from Julian Auction saying I had been the, the winning bidder of the Doris Day Oscar De La Renta evening jacket. It was a sequin number. I saw it in the catalog. And I'm like, what? I didn't bid on this. So I sent them a note and I said, you know, I did not bid on this. So they assured me that I had bid on it. And then I'm thinking, oh no. At one point during the day, I was sitting on the couch having a cup of coffee and I set my phone down and that's what I was watching the auction on. And when I came back, my little dog Spinnaker was laying on top of my phone. And so, this is probably the only auction item out of over a thousand auction items that an actual dog bid on. So he is the winning bidder of this Oscar de la Renta jacket. So anyway, um, I guess it's ours and we are going to enjoy it thoroughly. And I guess my little dog decided that I needed this jacket. So anyway, I'm thrilled. Now that it's the shock is worn off, I'm thrilled. And I hope it arrived soon, but I thought it was just such a cute story to share because, you know, it was probably the only auction item that a dog bid on. Anyway, take care. Um, if you want to check our rescue out, it's embracesociety.ca. And we keep a very good blog on our Facebook page. And it's Embrace a Discarded Animal Society. Take care, everyone. Um, good work. Doris Day Foundation, and I hope everyone keeps safe. Stay inside. Bye.